she met Worthless in grade one. She didn't realize who Worthless was until it grew on her. Her teacher had given it to her, like many of her other classmates. Only a few were labeled important. She is not sure if her teacher knew the extent of the damage giving them worthless would cause. But for her, it would be eight years until she felt important, that she had something to offer. Finding art let her escape from worthless. Showing her a world full of opportunity and imagination. Weak came from her father. She grew up in a household with her oppressor. Weak constantly appeared to her, telling her over and over that she couldn't do it. She would have never known her own strength until one day she was standing on her lawn with her mother and brother beside her and her father in front of her. He was screaming and yelling but she knew her mother was in danger and she was going to protect her at any cost. She was lucky her father didn't throw a punch, but that day she found her courage. A name repeatedly thrown at her by many adults. Instead of helping her, they labeled her bad kid, bad kid, bad kid. During elementary school, many teachers would deliberately showcase to other students that she was different, isolating her, making a lesson out of her, treating her like a bad kid. Her parents were told by these teachers that she would never graduate let alone be able to go on to university. They were telling her parents to give up on her before she ever had a chance. But she finally saw Bad Kid was just a name, a name that wasn't her. Revealing Bad Kid's true form, she was able to move on and face the world. Because of her past labels, she only has one residual echo, insecure, whispering negative messages at the most inconvenient times. It's an echo that will remain until she learns to see the beauty in herself, instead of focusing on her flaws. Three down, one to go. <laughs>